Spaceport could be set for liftoff by 2018. Eight airfields across the UK have been shortlisted as a potential base for space plane flights. The UK Space Agency hopes the move will boost Britain's growing satellite industry. But spaceports could also take tourists into orbit. Our science editor Tom Clark reports now from Farnborough Airshow. Five, four, three, two, one. The countdown has begun. Sometime in 2018, one of eight tranquil seaside towns could be shaken by the sound of British space planes hurtling into orbit. The government chose the macho surroundings of the Farnborough Air Show to make its blue skies announcement. It wants Britain to become a leader in commercial satellite launches and possibly space tourism. It was the Brits that invented the jet engine. and We've been aviation pioneers. The space race has kind of left us behind. Today's announcement is supposed to put an end to that. But are we seriously about to hear the words Glasgow, Campbelltown, Newquay, we have liftoff? Well, yes, argues Vince Cable, spaceports could be big business. We're taking the next big stage, which is making Britain a space port so that uh, some of the vehicles that go in the upper atmosphere will uh, land here and be serviced here and it will create a new dimension. I think by 2030 we think this is an industry that could have 100,000 people in. The Civil Aviation Authority has shortlisted eight locations from Stornoway in Scotland to Newquay in Cornwall. All of them has to be able to accommodate a 3,000 metre runway, have separate airspace to other airports and be away from densely populated areas. None is exactly Cape Canaveral but they don't have to be. The UK Space Agency is betting on space planes as the future. Richard Branson, who's already close to offering tourists flights on his Virgin Galactic plane, is over the moon. For Britain to put their hand up and be the second country in the world uh, to build a spaceport uh, is historic. It's, it's very, very exciting and I think it'll be tr tremendous news for, um, for Britain um, going forward. Six of the shortlisted sites are in Scotland, a place with natural advantages, according to its leading satellite maker. I would love, obviously love it to be in Scotland because, you know, that's where we're based. And it would be, when we need to launch our, our next set of 100 satellites, we just need to drive up the road. For the types of satellites that, that we'd be planning to launch using this launch vehicle, you're really looking at polar orbit, so you, you want to fly north anyway, you want to launch north. But hold the cream tees. Cornwall, with the only shortlisted site in England, is already touting its space credentials. What's your one-line pitch for why it should go to Cornwall over those other places? Um, because we have a unique combination of a very long runway, a huge amount of space on the airport, Goonhilly down just down the road, take off straight over the sea, and it's a beautiful place to live. And the weather's better? And the weather is unquestionably better. Space planes won't be quiet. As well as meet the technical requirements, the final choice will need sympathetic neighbours. But with the prospect of thousands of local jobs, the UK may now have a space race on its